All right, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Dakota Valley High School in the North Sioux City, South Dakota. We should have a excellent girls-boys doubleheader tonight. Husky girls come in with a record of 12-2 and two. last time out. Came out with a big win over Lennox, 57-54, to improve to 12-2. and two. Dakota Valley comes in with a record of 10-4. and four. And boys action tonight. EPJ comes in with a record of 5-10. And, and Dakota Valley's record coming in tonight is 10-2. and two. So... Should be two big games tonight. We will take a break. We'll get some words from our sponsors for tonight. And we will be back after a few breaks. We're watching Husky basketball on Fuller Digital Solutions. All the best sports shows, all the best games on 101.5 FM and 1570 AM for your college sports, University of South Dakota. For NHL coverage, Minnesota Wild. For NBA coverage, Minnesota Timberwolves. For MLB coverage, Chicago Cubs. And the best games in both college and the pros with the ESPN Radio featured games. Never miss out on the action. Quality care, close to home. That's Horizon Healthcare and Elk Point. For immunizations and well child visits to family health, we're right here for all ages with convenient hours and timely appointments. Local care for you and your family makes life easier with less travel, greater personal attention, and overall wellness for life. That's Horizon Healthcare's Elk Point Community Health Center. Elk Point native Dr. Devin Penfield and the team at The Dentist at Elk Point believe that your family deserves the highest level of dental care in a friendly and relaxing atmosphere. That's why they're happy to provide the community with a low-stress, comfortable dental home. Patients are loving and having the latest technology in a small-town setting. Dr. Penfield and her team enjoy serving such a wonderful community. Schedule your appointment today by calling 605-356-2271. on the last few seconds before we have our national anthem and our starting lineups. Starting lineups first before the national anthem. Number one, Caitlin Van Roekel, starting at guard for the Huskies. 
5'10", junior number four, Ashley Brewer. Five, number five, a 5'5", five, five sophomore, Sarah Schmidt. Number 14, 5'11", junior, Bentley Colbaum. 5'5", five, five, junior, number 32, Courtney Brewer. Huskies are coached by head coach Jeff Newhart and assisted by Matt Hammett and Sam Huska. Starters for your Dakota Valley Panthers, number four, 5'11", junior, Emerson Mead. Number 11, 5'11", junior, Cam Somerville. Number 12, 5'9", senior, Sophie Tuttle. Number 22, 5'8", eighth grader, Aubrey Warden. And number 40, 5'7", eighth grader, Ella Otten. Panthers are toast. Panthers are coached by head coach Tammy Lilly, assisted by Will Bacinius, Kristen Hansen, and Rob Lilly. They're doing the Dakota Valley cheerleaders right now. Pause for the national anthem. Welcome back. Nice job by the Dakota Valley Pet Band on the National Anthem. Once again, Huskies come in with a record of 12 and 2. Dakota Valley with a record of 10 and 4. Huskies going to be in their road blacks tonight. Blue, white lettering and numbers with blue trim. Dakota Valley in their home whites trimmed in purple. It's going to be Cole Bomb against Somerville, the jump. Comes down to Sarah Schmidt. She gets it over to you, Van Roko. And pass. Oh, saved there by Courtney. Nice job. Courtney with it now. Over to Schmidt. To Ashley. Inside to Courtney. Oh, off the rim, no good. Rebound down to Sophie Tuttle. Otten brings it up. Otten over to Mead. It's inside to Warden, puts it up. No good. Rebound down to Schmitz. Shot was partially blocked there, I believe, by Colbaum. Sarah puts, drives the lane, puts it up. No good off the front of the rim. Rebound down to Somerville. Gets it over to Otten. Otten jogs it up, picked up by Schmitz. Oh, dishes it off to Tuttle. Over to Somerville. Mead with it. Over to Somerville. Back to Otten. Otten out to Somerville. Three-pointer, no good. 
We're going to have a over the back on number 12. Sophie Tuttle for the Panthers. That's going to be her first. Team's first. Sarah Schmitz gets it over to Van Rokel. Van Rokel drives on Otten. And she's going to throw it up. Comes up with nothing. Goes out of bounds. Goes back to the Panthers. So Needle inbound. Gets it into Otten. Who will jog it up slowly. Hands it off to Somerville. To Warden. Tuttle, Otten with it in the corner, gets it back to Tuttle, inside to Meade, back out to Otten, Otten gets it to Meade, Meade's going to drive, puts it up and in for two, 2-0 two Panthers, Schmitz with it, brings it up, picked up by Warden, Brewer with it, gets it over to Ashley, Inside to Kolbaum. Kolbaum turn around. Jumper's good. Nice shot there by Bentley. Otten with it. Hands it off to Warden. Gets it to Tuttle. Mead with it. Ott, long three by Otten is good. 5-2 Panthers. Gets it inside to Kolbaum. Nice move off the front of the rim, no good. Rebound down to Somerville. Gets it over to Otten. Otten drives all the way through traffic and rolls it. Ball this with Carl over the rim there for two, seven, two Panthers. Schmitz brings it up, picked up by Warden. Over to Ashley. To Van Rokel. To Colbaum. Colbaum with it. Guarded by Tuttle. She drives, dishes it out, back out to Schmitz. Schmitz gets to a cutting. Van Rokel puts up the shot. No good. A light whistle there by the ref, but nice job by Van Rokel. A slash to the basket, puts up the shot, gets fouled. She's going to go to the line. Foul is on. Who did they call it on? Foul is on. Number four, Emerson Mead. That's her first. Team second. Free, first free throw is good by Van Rokel. Second free throw on the way is good as well. 7-4 Panthers, 4.50 left in the first quarter. Otten will jog it up. Hands it off to Warden. Warden drives, gets cut. Get cut off by off to Tuttle. She hands it off to Meade. Oh, it's going to go off of, they're going to say it went off of Brewer. So it'll stay with the Panthers. 24 on the shot clock. Mead inbounds, gets it into Somerville, gets tipped away by Kolbaum, and Courtney comes up with a loose ball, gets it over to Schmitz. Schmitz with it now to Kolbaum. She's close to stepping on the out of bounds line. Gets it to Ashley over to Van Rokel. Sarah with it. Tries to get it inside to Kolbaum. Awkward pass. Gets taken away by Tuttle. Otten with it now, pushing it. She's gonna get, oh, nice move. Oh, partially blocked, possibly by Colbaum there. Rebound down to Schmidt. Schmidt with it. Gets it out to Van Rokel. She's going to drive. Oh. She's going to, Van Rokel direct, uh, gets fouled on the drive by number 11, Cam Somerville. That's her first, team's third. Courtney will inbound. Gets it into Van Rokel. Van Rokel drives the lane, puts it up high off the glass. Oh, in and out, no good. Rebound down to Tuttle. 3.50 left in the first half, first quarter. A pass up ahead to Warden was good for two. 9 4 Panthers. 3.40 remains, first quarter. Schmitz with the ball. Picked up by Warden. Courtney gets it over to Van Rokel. Van Ruckel gets it inside to Colbaum. Turn around, jumper in the lane. Oh, bounced around and off, no good. Rebound down to Meade. 
Otten pushes it up. Gets it to Tuttle. Tries to get it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Tries to get inside to Summer Ball. They're going to call a foul on Colbaum, I believe. Yep, fouls on Colbaum. That's going to be her first. Team's first of the first quarter. Checking in for the Huskies for the first time. Number 14, or excuse me, what, what number are they? Number 10, Hannah Nierman, and number 11, Grace Peed. Quick time out there. So 317 left in the first quarter. So Pete and Nerman check in, replacing Brewer and Brewer. Also checking in for Dakota Valley for the first time. Number three, Lexi Vasky. Nice hustle there by Sarah Schmitz. Comes up with the loose ball. Oh, we had a little collision there by Nierman and Otten both go down. No no foul either way. It's a good no call. Nierman with it, but guarded by Otten. Gets it back to Schmitz. Over to Peed. Peed's going to dribble towards the free throw line. Stops. Tosses it over to Kolbaum. She's got it. Oh, loses the ball. Warden comes up with it. Warden drives. Puts it up. No good. Offensive rebound by Summerbold. No good. Number we're going to have a tie-up on the rebound. It's going to stay with stay with Dakota Valley. Checking back in, number four, Ashley Brewer replacing Bentley Colbaum. Also, number four, Emerson Mead checking back in, replacing number 12, Sophie Tuttle for the Panthers. Gets it into Summerville, turn around, jumper in the lane is good. 11 4, Panthers on top. 2.34 left in the first quarter. Three point attempt by Ashley Brewer, off the rim, no good. Rebound down to Summerville. Gets a nice long pass up ahead. Oh, barely saves it. And Warden tries to save it and throws it out of bounds. It's going to go back to the Huskies. So 2.22 left. Ball's going to go back to the Huskies. Nierman gets it into Schmitz. Schmitz is picked up by Warden at the three-point line, top of the key. Over to Brewer, over to Nierman. Peed with it now. Over to Schmitz, gets it inside to Peed. Turnaround jumper for Peed is good. Nice shot by Grace there. 11-6, two minutes to go, first quarter. Otten walks it up, picked up by Schmitz, hands it off to Warden. Over to Vasky, to Mead. Gets it back to Otten, almost picked off by Schmitz. Ball hit, barely hits the rim. Oh, off Sarah Schmitz, he'll stay with the Panthers. Good effort by both there, by both teams. So Dakota Valley inbound in front of the Husky bench. Mm, refs are discussing something. Not sure. And we're starting. 141 left. Otten with it. Hands it off to Warden. Over to Mead. To Vasky. Otten with it again. Otten, Otten keeps it. Drives baseline. Puts it up for two. Nice move there by Otten. 13 6. Otten with seven so far out of the 13. Peed with it. Peed gets it over to Nierman. Nierman gets it out to Van Rokel. Van Rokel to Schmitz. Schmitz is going to take the three. Off the front of the rim, no good. Rebound down to Meade. Gets it up to Otten. Otten there, guarded by Schmitz. To Somerville, the hands it back to Hot, and she's going to take the three off the rim, no good. Offensive rebound by Somerville. Oh, yeah. Offensive rebound by Somerville. Ashley 
got her on the arm on the shot. The Husky fans don't believe it, but it looked like a great call from here. So that's going to be foul on Ashley. That's her first, team second. Somerville makes the first one, 14-6. Got 40, 45 seconds left in the first quarter. Second shot, no good. Rebound down to Peed. Schmitz walks it up here. Oh, it gets tied up. Loose ball comes up to Vasky. She gets it up to Somerville. Somerville takes the jumper in the lane. No good. The runner in the lane, I should say. Rebound down to Schmitz. Oh, first shot, no good. Schmitz is fouled on the shot there, though, by number 11, Cam Somerville. That's Somerville's second foul. Team's fourth. Schmitz will be at the line to shoot two with 21.9 left to go in the first quarter. First one is good by Sarah. Checking back in for the Panthers, number 12, Sophie Tuttle replacing Cam Somerville. Second free throw is short off front of the rim. Rebound down to Vasky. So shot clock's off. Got 15 to go in the first quarter. Otten with it. Guard, guard there by Schmitz. Otten drives. Shot no good. Ball's going to go out of bounds off the Huskies. It'll stay with the Panthers. 2.7 left on the, shot, uh, on the game clock for first quarter. Otten will inbound it. Ball gets tipped by Sarah on the inbounds. Sarah's going to, oh, she lost the handle on it. Nice play there by Sarah. So the end of the first quarter, it's Dakota Valley 14, Elk Point Jefferson 7, and we're watching Husky basketball on Fuller Digital Solutions. You ready to start a career with an exciting team? Thermobond is looking to add to our team of experts. We offer competitive wages, a positive work environment, and on-the-job training. Thermobond is headquartered in Elk Point, South Dakota, and for over 30 years we've been providing lightweight and precast solutions for multiple industries nationwide. Check us out and see if you'd like to start a new career with us today. All right, we are back. So after one quarter, Dakota Valley with the lead, 14 to 7. So far in well, Huskies only with two foul team fouls. Huskies will start the second quarter with Brewer, Brewer, Kolbaum, Nierman, and Schmitz. The Husky ball. Courtney gets it into Sarah. Sarah over to Colbaum. And cut the wrong way, so it'll go out of bounds. Back to the Panthers. Orden with it. Gets it over to Meade. To Otten. To Tuttle. Over to Meade. Gets to it, cutting Otten for two. Nice shot. 16-7, Dakota Valley. Otten with nine points so far. Nearman with it. Nearman gets it into, tries to get it into Ashley. Gets tipped away by Meade. Dakota Valley comes up with a loose ball. Otten with it now. Over to Tuttle. Tuttle gets it to Warden. Over to Otten. Otten takes the three, no good. Oh, loose ball. And we're going to have a jump ball. It's going to go back to the Panthers. Checking back in for the Huskies. Number one, Caitlin Van Runkel replacing Hannah Nerman. Meade to check it in, gets it into Vasky. She gets it back over to Otten. Otten gets it to Sophie Tuttle. Back to Warden for a three. She hits it. 
19-7. Panthers, we're going to have a timeout. Huskies will take one as well. You're watching Husky basketball and Fuller Digital Solutions. Jensen Insurance Agency scoreboard, Dakota Valley 19, Elk Point Jefferson 7, 647 left, first half. So far leader in scoring in the game for both teams is 8th grader L. Ott, number 40 for Dakota Valley with 9. So it will be Husky basketball. Courtney will get it into Schmitz. Schmitz be picked up there by Warden. Back to Courtney. Over to Ashley. Ashley gets it to Van Rokel. Van Rokel over to Colbach. She's going to drive baseline. Ball gets tipped away, and Otten comes up with a loose ball. Otten gets cut off. She gets it back to Vasky. Over to Mead. Inside to Tuttle. She gets to a cutting. Warden for two. 21-7, 6-10 left first half. Schmitz with it. Inside to Van Rokel. Nice cut there for two for Van Rokel. Caitlin with four on the night. Otten with it. Nice job by Van Rokel. Step in the passing lane there. Knock it away. Colbaum comes up with the loose ball. Schmitz gets it inside to Ashley. Ashley's going to go. Turn around. Nice play. Turn around. Nice move by Ashley. Gets fouled on the sh shot. She's going to go to the line to try to complete the three-point play. Fouls on. Number four, Emerson Mead. That's her second. Team's first of the second quarter. Free throw by Ashley is good for the three-point play. Checking in for Dakota Valley for the first time. Number 15, Alexa Verdorn replacing Mead with those two fouls. Otten's going to walk it up here, direct some traffic down low. Hands it off to Orden, over to Vasky. Hands it off to Tuttle. Tuttle gets it back to Otten. Hands it off to Orden again. She's guarded by Van Rokel. Turn around, jumper. Oh, off the rim, no good. Rebound down to, Van, uh, to Ashley. She gets it over to Schmitz. Schmitz brings it up. Over to Ashley. Down low to Colbaum. Nice move by, oh, off the rim, no good. Rebound down to Vasky. She gets it to Otten. Otten's going to jog it up. Directing traffic there again. Hands it off to Warden. Over to Tuttle. Tuttle gets it to Vasky. Gets it back to Otten. No, nice, nice drive off the glass by Otten there for two. 23-12, 4.39 to go, first half. Inside to Colbaum, turn around. Jumper for Colbaum's good. Nice shot by Bentley. Get the ball into Vasky. She gets it back to Otten. 4.25, go first half. Otten guarded by Schmitz. Nice job by Van Rokel to tip it away there. It'll stay with the uh, Panthers. 4.18 to go. Somerville's going to check back in, replacing Vasky. Also, Nearman's going to check back in, replacing Courtney. Warden gets it into Otten. Otten's going to take the three pointer. Good. Wow. Otten can shoot. She really can. Colbaum's going to drive, puts it up. Oh, off. In and out, no good. And that's just going to get called for the foul on the rebound. That's going to be Bentley's second foul. 
First foul, team foul of the second quarter. So 26-14, 4.03 to go till half. Otten's going to walk it up here. Let the offense get set up. Gets it over to Warden. Warden's going to get it over to Verdorn. To Otten. Otten tries to get it down low to Tuttle. Tuttle turnaround jumper is good off the glass, 28-14. Brewer gets it into Schmitz. Schmitz over to Nierman. Nierman gets it to Van Roekel. Inside to Ashley. Ashley's going to turn around, put up the scoop shot. Good for two. Nice move by Ashley there. Ashley's got five on the night, I believe. Yep. 28-16, 3.15 to go. Gets it over to Somerville. Fake the handoff. Going to go turn around. Step through. In and out, no good. Loose ball comes down to Nearman. Nice job on the rebound. Schmitz with it. Gets it over to Nearman. Nearman gets it to Van Rocco. Van Rocco guarded by Otten. Gets it into the lane to Colbaum. Nice move there by Bentley for two. She's got six on the night so far. 28-18, 240 to go till half. Otten with it. Gets it over to Verdorn to Tuttle. Inside to Somerville. Get tipped away by Colbaum. And, <laughs> wow, nice save there by Sarah Schmitz. Gets it over to Nierman. She gets it to Van Rokel. Van Rokel's going to drive. Gets knocked away. And then we're going to have a Foul on, or jump ball, I believe they're going to call. Yep, nice job by Hannah there to work, fight for the ball. Jump ball. It's going to stay with the Huskies. Checking in back in, number three, Lexi Vasky for Dakota Valley. Number 11, Grace Peed for the Huskies, replacing Colbaum. And we're going to have a timeout. Panthers will take a timeout as well. You're watching Husky basketball, Fuller Digital Solutions. Back 219 to go till half, 28-18, Dakota Valley on top. Husky ball, 23 on the shot clock. After the jump ball, ball gets tipped away. Somerville comes up with it. Gets it over to Otten. Somerville with it. Guarded there by Peed. Over to Otten. Hands it off to Warden. Over to Tuttle to Vasky. Gets it to Somerville at the elbow. Somerville inside. She's going to get called for the travel. Nice defense there. 150 to go till half. Courtney Brewer checks back in, replacing Caitlin Van Rokel. Sarah Schmitz will take it up here. 145 to go. Tries to get it inside to Pete. Oh, gets tipped away. Pete comes back up with it. Gets it to Nearman. Nearman gets it to Brewer. Brewer to Ashley Brewer for three in the corner is good. Nice shot by Ashley. Otten with it. Hands it off to Somerville. Gets it to Warden. To Tuttle. Vasky with it over to Warden. Gets it inside to Tuttle. Gets tipped away by Courtney. Sarah comes up with a loose ball. She's going to go one on two. Puts it up. No good. Fall, nice fall by the rebound for Pede. Jump shot for two by Schmitz. Nice job. 
Nice fall there by P to get the get the offensive rebound. 28-23. Husky crowd coming to life a little bit here. 48, 45 seconds left in the half. Turnaround jumper is oh, good by Warden. And she's going to go to the line to complete the three-point play. Foul's going to be on. Hannah Newman, that's her first, team second. Checking back in for the Huskies. It's Caitlin Van Rook, who replaces Sarah Schmidt. And also for Dakota Valley, number 15, Verdorn. She makes the shot, completes the three-point play. 31-23, 39 seconds left. Got about a five-second differential in the game clock, shot clock. Van Roko with it, gets it to Pede. Pede's going to try and drive in the lane, hands it off to Nierman, puts it up, misses it, but she's fouled by, let's see, I think it's on three, Lexi Vasky for Dakota Valley. That's going to be her first, team second. So Nierman will be at the line to shoot two. First one is good. Nice shot. Second one is good as well by Hannah. 25 seconds left. Shot clock is off. See, Dakota Valley will probably hold for one here. Otten with it. Guarded by Van Roko. Otten loses it. Oh, nice job by Hannah. Hannah tips. Oh, they said it is out on. Oh, okay. I thought it looked like it was out on hand. It must have gotten tipped before that, before it went out of bounds. So off of Dakota Valley. Husky ball with 13.5 to play. Checking back in. Bentley Colbaum and Courtney Brewer, I think, believe was the other one, replacing Nerman and Pede. Husky's got a chance for one shot here. Ten seconds left. Schmitz with it. Schmitz is going to drive. Puts it up, off the rim, no good. Colbaum with the rebound and puts it in. Nice job by Bentley. Nice end of the half there for the Huskies. Woke the crowd up on this side. They're on their feet. So at the half on your Jensen Insurance Agency scoreboard, it's Dakota Valley 31, Elk Point Jefferson 27. We'll take a break. We'll be back with some stats. And we'll, after these messages from our sponsors, are watching Husky Basketball on Fuller Digital Solutions. Insurance in Beersford, Elk Point, and Sioux Falls has been building relationships since 1944. We want to take care of what matters most to you, protecting your family, farm, business, or vehicles. We work with carriers or companies like Auto Owners Insurance to find you the best coverages and help cut your insurance costs. Visit our website for a complete list of insurance coverage options. You can trust that Jensen Insurance cares about you, just like we have for over 75 years. Visit us at JensenAgencyOnline.com. Jensen Insurance. Your local, independent, auto owner's insurance agency. That's probably because that one's too small. Yeah, I did pull out <laughs> Forget the ramps and hassles when hauling. They are built to tilt. Tilt bed trailers made at Holstein Fabrication and Holstein Manufacturing. We're excited to now offer one of the best tilt bed trailers on the market, ranging from 22 to 28 feet in length. Like everything we manufacture, these trailers are built to work, last, and make your life easier. All with confidence when you hook up to a tilt bed trailer made at Holstein Fabrication and Holstein Manufacturing. Visit us online today at HolsteinMFG.com.
all the best sports shows, all the best games on 101.5 FM and 1570 AM for your college sports, University of South Dakota. For NHL coverage. Again, score at halftime, 31-27 in favor of Dakota Valley, but the last few minutes of that second quarter, Huskies came to life and cut the deficit to four at the half. Woke some of the fans up on the EPJ side. They started to cheer a little bit, finally. It's good to see you get behind their team. So we have a few stats here for halftime. Huskies are led in scoring by Ashley Brewer and Bentley Colbaum with eight apiece. Caitlin Van Runkle with four, Sarah Schmitz with three, Hannah Nierman with two, Grace Pete with two, and rebound, leading rebounder so far, Sarah Schmitz with three, Grace Pete with two. Um, fouls so far, Colbaum has two, and Ashley Brewer has one. That's the only fouls we have so far. Uh, let's see if we can check a few scores from around the area on the SD Scores app. If you don't have that, you should get it. It's it's a really handy tool. It's free to download. You can find all different stats or scores and, like, records and everything if you don't have it. Um, I know one thing a lot of people aren't, or a lot of schools aren't very good at updating the games during the games on there, but there's not a whole lot of updated scores right now tonight. I'll go through a few, though, that, that are on here so far. Miller is up on Ipswich 6-2 to two after the first period. Elton Lake Benton up on DeSmith, 33-15 in the third. Mount Vernon Plankerton up on Hanson, 40-31, five minutes left in the third. Uh, Wagner is up on Andy Central, Dakota Kirsten, 37-25, three minutes left in the second. St. Thomas Moore is up on Winter, 13-3 at the end of the first. That is all on Class A, girls. See if there's any B scores from around. Freeman is up on Alcester Hudson, 28-24 at the half. Uh, that's about it from right around here. Not many scores updated there either. So we will take a few minutes break. This is just about five minutes left at halftime. We'll take a few minutes break, here from our sponsors, and we'll be back for the second half action. You're watching Husky Basketball on Florida Digital Solutions. Quality care, close to home. That's Horizon Healthcare and Elk Point. For immunizations and well child visits to family health, we're right here for all ages with convenient hours and timely appointments. Local care for you and your family makes life easier with less travel, greater personal attention, and overall wellness for life. That's Horizon Healthcare's Elk Point Community Health Center. Elk Point native Dr. Devin Penfield and the team at the dentist at Elk Point believe that your family deserves the highest level of dental care in a friendly and relaxing atmosphere. That's why they're happy to provide the community with a low stress, comfortable dental home. Patients are loving and having the latest technology in a small town setting. Dr. Penfield and her team enjoy serving such a wonderful community. Schedule your appointment today by calling 605-356-2271. You 
ready to start a career with an exciting team? Thermobond is looking to add to our team of experts. We offer competitive wages, a positive work environment, and on-the-job training. Thermobond is headquartered in Elk Point, South Dakota, and for over 30 years, we've been providing lightweight and precast solutions for multiple industries nationwide. Check us out and see if you'd like to start a new career with us today. Insurance in Beersford, Elk Point, and Sioux Falls has been building relationships since 1944. We want to take care of what matters most to you, protecting your family, farm, business, or vehicles. We work with carriers or companies like Auto Owners Insurance to find you the best coverages and help cut your insurance costs. Visit our website for a complete list of insurance coverage options. You can trust that Jensen Insurance cares about you, just like we have for over 75 years. Visit us at JensenAgencyOnline.com. Jensen Insurance. Your local independent auto owners insurance agency. All right, we're back. Once again, your Jetson Insurance Agency scoreboard 31 to 27 Panthers. Start the second half. It will be Panther ball. Inbounded on the far side. Out uh, and gets it into Warden. Picked up by Van Rokel. Warden drew one out front over to Otten. Otten with it. Gets it to, oh, Warden. She throws it away. Husky ball. Nice defense there by the Huskies so far. Courtney will get it into Sarah. Sarah will jog it up. Picked up by Warden. We'll back to you, Courtney. Over to Van Roco. Gets it to Ashley, who thought about the three. Back to Courtney. Courtney with it. Hits the cutting. Sarah, nice pass. Nice layup by Sarah. Nice job on the pass by Courtney into Sarah for two. Huskies down 31-29. Otten with it. Ball gets tipped away by Sarah. Nice job. She's going to stay with the Panthers. Tuttle inbound, gets it to Otten, picked up by Schmitz, Van Roekel on Warden, Kohlbaum to on Somerville. Otten gets, loses the handle of the ball, Kohlbaum comes up with a loose ball, gets it to Sarah, but up ahead to Van Roekel, she's going to pull it back out. Tries to get inside to Kohlbaum, gets tipped away by Tuttle, 6.45 left third. Mead with it, gets it over to Otten. Otten over to Mead. Mead over to Somerville. She's going to take the three, and it's short. Rebound down to Van Roko. Gets it to Schmitz. Schmitz with it now. Schmitz is going to drive, dishes it off to Ashley. She's going to take the three. Nails it. First 
First lead of the game for the Huskies, 32-31. Ashley with 11 points right now. Otten with it, picked up by Schmitz. Over to Somerville, she's gonna hand it back to Otten. Otten's gonna drive baseline, puts up the runner, no good. Rebound down to Courtney. Kohlbaum dishes it out to Van Rokel. Baseline three is no good. Rebound down to Mead. Gets it to Otten. Otten gets it to Warden. Over to Mead. Hands it off to Tuttle. Tuttle tries to get it into Somerville. And we're going to have a jump ball. Nice job by Kohlbaum to fight there with Somerville. It'll... Go to the Huskies on the jump ball, alternating possession. Nice fight there by Colbaum to come up with that, get the tie up. Schmitz will walk it up here. Schmitz with it, stops, shoots the free throw line, jumper, and switches it. Nice shot by Sarah. Sarah's got four in the, thir- in the third quarter already. She's got seven on the game so far. Otten gets it tipped away. Mead comes up with it. Tries to get inside to Somerville and tipped away by Kohlbaum again, I believe. Schmitz comes up with the loose ball. Gets it over to Van Roekel. She's going to drive baseline. Puts it up. No good. Kohlbaum comes up with a loose ball. And she puts it in for two. We're going to have a timeout. Panthers. Huskies on top, 36-31. We'll take a timeout as well. You're watching Husky basketball on Full of Digital Solutions. All right, we are back. 36-31 on your Jensen Insurance Agency scoreboard. 5.03 to play, third quarter. It will be Panther ball. Warden will get it into Otten. Otten will bring it up, picked up by Schmitz. Gets it over to Somerville. Somerville guarded by Colbaum. They get it over to Warden in the corner. Scott. Tries to drag, gets cut off by Van Ronkel, gets it out to Somerville. Dishes it out to Tuttle. She shoots the three, and it's good. 36-34, Huskies still on top, 435. Schmitz with it, it's going to jog it up here. Gets it over to Courtney. Gets it to Van Ronkel. And Ronkel dishes it off to Colbaum. She's going to drive the baseline. Nice shot by, by Bentley there for two. Gives Bentley 12 on the night. 38-34, 4-10 left, third quarter. Otten's, Otten's going to drive. Gets fouled on the shot by number five, Sarah Schmitz. That'll be Sarah's first team's first of the third quarter. Looks more. Looked like she might have got an extra step in there, but they're going to call the foul. First free throw by Otten's good. Second free throw off the rim, no good. Rebound down to Colbaum. Get it up ahead to Van Rokel. She gets it to Colbaum. Colbaum gets it to Ashley over to Courtney in the corner. Courtney over to Sarah. Sarah's going to take the three. Off the front of the rim, no good. Rebound gets tipped away over to Otten. Otten tries to get it down low to Cam Somerville. Oh, in and out, no good. Rebound down to, whoa. <laughs> Rebound down to Colbaum. They get their legs tangled up, her and Somerville. Three-point attempt by Ashley, no good. Offensive rebound to Schmitz. Van Rokel with it now. Gets it over to Colbaum in the corner. She's going to try the three. 
And she nails it. Nice shot by Bentley. Bentley with 15 on the night, 7 in the second half already. Otten gets it over to Somerville. She's going to drive baseline. Oh, blocked out of bounds by Colbaum. Nice block by Colbaum. 3.05 to go. Third quarter, 24 on the shot clock yet. They're at 41 35. Meadle inbound. Gets it into Otten. Otten's going to try and drive baseline. Gets it over to Warden. She's going to drive, put up the jumper, short up the front of the rim. Oh. Yep, and we're going to have a travel, I believe. Yep. Huskies, a couple of Huskies collided there and both went down. It's going to be a travel. We'll go back to the Panthers. Checking in, Grace Pete's going to replace Ashley Brewer. So, Warden will inbound. Gets it into Tuttle. She's going to hand off to Warden. Otten's going to take the three at the top of the key. No good. Got a push on somebody here. Who's it? You say it's on Schmitz? Yep, a push on Sarah Schmitz. So, two fouls in the second or the third quarter, both on Schmitz so far. That's her second foul of the game. So, Otten with it. Guarded by Schmitz. Hands it off to Somerville. To Warden. To. Tuttle, she gets it down low to Somerville. She puts it up and in for two. 41-37, 2.35 to go. Van Roko with it. Gets it over to Courtney. Colbaum in the corner. He's going to try the three again. No good. Rebound down to Tuttle. Otten's going to push it up the court here a little bit. Gets shut down. Gets it to a cutting Sophie Tuttle for two. Nice move. 41-39. Huskies still on top, 2.10 left third quarter. And we're going to have a timeout. Huskies will take a timeout as well. You're watching Husky Basketball and Fuller Digital Solutions. Forget the ramps and hassles when hauling. They are built to tilt. Tilt bed trailers made at Holstein Fabrication and Holstein Manufacturing. We're excited to now offer one of the best tilt bed trailers on the market, ranging from 22 to 28 feet in length. Like everything we manufacture, these trailers are built to work, last, and make your life easier. All with confidence when you hook up to a tilt bed trailer made at Holstein Fabrication and Holstein Manufacturing. Visit us online today at HolsteinMFG.com. All right, your Jensen Insurance, Jensen Insurance Agency scoreboard, 41-39. Husky still on top, 2-9 to go, third quarter. Will be Husky basketball. Nierman also checked in, replacing Courtney at the break. So Van Roko with it. Gets it to Nierman. To Colbaum. Schmitz with it. Down low to Colbaum, turn around, jumper, bounces around, uses the whole rim, and good for two. Nice job by Bentley. Bentley with 17 now. 145 to go, third quarter. Get it down low to Somerville. Off the rim, no good. Rebound down to Colbaum. Schmitz with it, nice pass over to to Van Roko in the corner for three. Oh, in and out, no good. Offensive rebound by Schmitz. Oh, nice play. Offensive rebound by Sarah Schmitz. Turnaround jumper. Nails it and gets fouled. Going to go to the line to complete the three-point play. Nice move. Check it out. Bentley Colbine to take a quick breather. Ashley Brewer going to replace her. Schmitz here trying to complete the three-point play. Puts it in. Nice shot for Sarah. That gives Sarah 10 points in the game so far. And she's going to take a quick breather as well. Ashley's going to check back in for her. So Otten's going to jog it up now. 122 to go in third quarter. Warden with it. Tries to get it inside to Somerville. Gets tipped away by Ashley. Peek comes up with it and gets it over to Courtney and saves it. Nice job by the Husky defense there. Nearman with it. Gets it over to Courtney. 
Down to Pede. Pede's going to try and drive to the bucket. Gets dishes out to Van Rokel. She sets up for a three and nails it. Nice shot by Van Rokel. Huskies with their biggest lead, 49-39. 48 seconds to go, third quarter. Otten with it. Gets it to Warden. Down low to Meade. Over to Somerville. She hits the jumper. Nice shot there by Somerville. 35 left. We got about a two-second differential. Shot clock, game clock at the third quarter, end of the third here. Nerman with it. Gets it over to Ashley. Gets it down low to Pede. Pede turn around, kind of runner. Oh, off the rim, no good. Nice try. Rebound down to Meade. 15 seconds left. Shot clock is off. Meade gets it out to Somerville. To Otten. Nine, eight, seven, six. Otten's going to try and drive. Puts it up. No good. She's going to be fouled by Van Roekel, I believe. I don't know why he said 2-1, but yeah. Fouls on Van Roekel. That's her first. Otten at the line to shoot. First one is good. There's 2.8 seconds left in the third here. Second free throw by Otten is off the rim. No good. Rebound on to Ashley. She's just going to hold it. So at the end of your third quarter on the Jensen Insurance Agency, Jensen Insurance Agency scoreboard, it's 49-42. Huskies, big third quarter there for the Huskies. We'll take a break. You're watching Husky Basketball on Florida Digital Solutions. All the best sports shows, all the miss out on the action all right we are back once again after three quarters 49 42 huskies on top uh, so far leading scorers Colbaum with 17 she got nine in the third quarter there also schmitz with 10 and Ashley with 11, and Caitlin with 7. All right, Panther ball to start the fourth quarter. Otten with it. Stipped, oh, stolen away by Van Roekel right away. She goes in, oh, misses the layup. Otten with it. Tries to get inside, wild pass. Warden still comes up with it. Par shot partially blocked, I believe, by Colbaum. Schmitz with it. Over to At. Oh, she thought about the three. Oh, ball gets tipped away. Somerville comes up with it. Gets it over to Otten. Walks it up. Over to Meade. That's going to go out of bounds. Oh, back to the Huskies. 7-11 left, fourth quarter. Sarah will take it up here, picked up by Warden to Courtney. Courtney gets it down to Colbaum. Colbaum's going to work, going to turn around, jumper, off there, no good. Rebound down to Somerville. Otten with it, she's going to drive, dishes it off to Tuttle over to Meade. Three-point attempt by Somerville, in and out, no good. Rebound down to Schmitz. Schmitz with it. Schmitz is going to take it all the way. Oh, it gets blocked by Meade. Somerville comes up with it, gets it up to Otten. Otten drives baseline, gets it to Warden. Warden's going to drive, puts up the jumper, crawls over the rim and in. 49-44, 6.20 left. Schmitz with it. Picked up by Warden at the half court line now. Gets it over to Ashley. Down low to Colbaum. She is double teamed down low. And we're going to have a timeout, Huskies. 
quick timeout call there by Coach Newhart. We'll take one as well. You're watching Husky Basketball. Quality care, close to home. That's Horizon Healthcare and Elk Point. For immunizations and well child visits to family health, we're right here for all ages with convenient hours and timely appointments. Local care for you and your family makes life easier with less travel, greater personal attention, and overall wellness for life. That's Horizon Healthcare's Elk Point Community Health Center. All right, we are back. 6.09 left, fourth quarter, 49-44, Huskies on top. What do we got? We got so far 6.09 left in the fourth. Neither team, neither team with a foul in the fourth quarter so far. Is that right? Coach Newhart down to one time out already? Man, yeah, he's he's not gonna definitely not going home with any tonight, that's for sure. Dakota Valley with three timeouts yet. So it will be Husky ball, 22 left on the shot clock. Schmitz will inbound. Schmitz gets it into Colbaum at the elbow. Schmitz is going to take the three. Oh, off the rim, no good. Rebound down to Tuttle. Otten with it. Otten brings it up. Gets it to Tuttle. Gets it to a Mead. Mead's going to dish it out to Somerville. Three, no pointer, no good. Offensive rebound down to Schmitz again. Schmitz is starting to rack up a few rebounds this second half. She gets it over to Courtney. Courtney gets it down to Ashley. Ashley gets it stolen away by Meade from behind. She gets it up to Tuttle. And then Dakota Valley's going to throw it away. It'll go back to the Huskies. 5.33 left. So 5.33 left. Courtney will inbound far side, midcourt. She gets it into Sarah. Sarah will be picked up by Warden right away at half court. Second half so far, Warden's kind of snuck out further and further towards half court to try and pick her up. Turnaround jumper, no good by Colbaum. Otten with it. Otten's going to take the three. No good. Air ball that Colbaum comes up with a loose ball. Gets it knocked away by Somerville. What do we call him? The one ref was going to call a jump ball. I think this ref's going to call a foul, it looks like. Yeah, fouls on Courtney. That's going to be Courtney's first foul. Team's first of the fourth quarter. Meade's going to check it in, gets it in. Stolen away. Nice nice job by Colbaum to intercept it there. Schmitz is going to push it up the court. Pulls it back out now, gets it back to Ashley. She's going to step up, take the three. Oh, off the rim, no good. Rebound down to Tuttle. Turnaround jumper is good by Warden. 49-46 Huskies, 445 left. Schmitz is going to jog it up the court here. Gets it over to Courtney. Courtney gets it to Caitlin. Van Ronkel with it, gets it back to Schmitz. Schmitz gets it to Colbaum. 10 seconds left on the shot clock. Sarah with it, gets it to Courtney in the lane. She's going to dish out. Colbaum's going to take the three. In and out and back in. Nice shot by Colbaum for three. That's going to give her 20 on the night. 52-46, 405 to go. They hit it into a cutting uh, uh, summer bowl. She gets her own rebound on the shot. Three-pointer no good by Ott, and she gets her own rebound. She just happened to be in the right place, right time. She got it, got it again. Man, Hussey got to crash the boards a little better here in this fourth quarter. I think they had three offensive rebounds there. So Otten got fouled on that shot by Ashley. She's going to go to the line to shoot two. Ashley's second foul. Team second of the fourth quarter. First one is good by Otten. Checking back in for the Huskies is Hannah Nierman and Grace Peed replacing Sarah Schmitz and Bentley Colbaum. 3.49 left to go. Let's 
Second free throw is bounces around. No good. Oh, hey, Ashley stepped out of bounds. Yep. They're right on her right away, and she stepped out of bounds. It's going to go back to the Panthers, 52-47, 3.47 to go. Warden will inbound under their own basket. Gets it into Tuttle. She hands it back off to Warden. Top, out and top of the key. Three-pointer, no good. Offense, our rebound down to Ashley. Courtney with it. Getting over to Van Rokel. Van Rokel with it. She's going to drive all the way to the basket. Oh, off the rim, no good. Rebound down to Meade. She's going to get fouled. Fouls on Van Rokel. That's going to be her second. Team's third of the fourth quarter. 3.23 to go. 52-47 Huskies. Otten's going to take it up. Picked up by Van Rokel. Gets it to Somerville. Hands it back off to Otten. She's going to try. Drive. Gets cut off. Throws it up. Off the rim. No good. Somerville, or Meade rips it away. Mead ripped the ball away and got the rebound. Then she lost it out of bounds. It's going to go back to the Huskies. Checking back in for the Huskies. Bentley Kohlbaum, Sarah Schmitz replacing Ashley Brewer. And somebody else. Who's coming off? Courtney Brewer. 3.06 to go. Panthers going to apply pressure here now. So Nierman's going to check it in. Huskies got... And apply pressure, they get it in. Oh. Van Rokel th- tries to throw it in, gets tipped by Somerville out of bounds. Nearman's going to throw it in now, 2.59 to go. She gets it in to Sarah, up ahead to Van Rokel. Van Rokel's got a three on two. Put it in up. Nice job. Pass over to Colbaum. She puts it up for two. Nice job by Colbaum. Colbaum with 22 on the night. Otten puts it up. I think she's going to travel. Yes, she did. 54 49. Ball's going to go back to the Huskies. Checking back out. Number 10, Hannah Nierman. Grace P, number 11. Checking back in are Courtney and Ashley Brewer. Panthers going to apply pressure here again with 242 left. Ashley, Courtney gets it in to Sarah. Back to Courtney. Courtney guarded by Somerville there. So, Courtney in the de- drive all the way. Oh, this is off to Ashley. Gets taken away on the pass there. Otten's going to drive all the way off the rim. High, high off the glass, no good. Rebound down to Courtney. And we're going to have a foul on number 40, Ella Otten. That's going to be her first foul. Team's first of the fourth quarter. Courtney will inbound. 222 left fourth quarter. She's going to get it into Sarah. She's going to be picked up by Warden. Like I said, she's been coming closer and closer. Instead of picking her up at the three point line, now she's picking her up on the other three point line. So Schmitz with it, guarded by Warden. Gets it back to Courtney, over to Van Rokel. Van Rokel with it. Going to try and drive, gets cut off. Gets it over into Ashley. Ashley's going to try and put a move on in the lane. No good, but she's fouled on the arm by number four, I believe, Emerson Mead. Let's see what the ref says here. Yep, fouls on number four, Mead, for Dakota Valley. She's going to go to the line. Ashley will go to the line to shoot two. 157 left. Free throw's good by Ashley. Ashley with... 12 on the night so far. Second free throw. Bounces around no good. Rebound down to Somerville. 55-49. Otten will bring it up. Gets it over to Meade. Meade with it. Gets it over to Otten. Tries to get inside. Ball gets thrown over her head to Courtney. Courtney gets it to Sarah. Sarah's going to be guarded by, picked up by Otten. Gets it over to Van Rokel. 134 left in the game. 55-49. Ashley top of the key to Courtney. 
20 on the shot clock. Huskies trying to use some time here. Gets it back to Sarah. Sarah guarded tight there by Warden. Over to Caitlin. Van Roko with it now. Eight, seven. Yep, there's the foul out. There's the foul out way at the top of the key on Somerville. That's going to be Somerville's third foul, I believe. Yep, third foul. Team's third. It's going to... Oh, Huskies will inbound. Team, only the third team foul. One thirteen left. So Courtney will inbound it. Fresh shot clock, 35. Courtney lobs it in to Caitlin. Caitlin gets it tipped away. Otten comes up with it. Otten with it. She's going to try and drive. She puts it up. No good. Offensive rebound by Warden. No good. Sarah Schmitz comes up with a loose ball. Gets it to Courtney. Up ahead to Caitlin. And we're going to have a foul on Sophie Tuttle, number 12. That's going to be Sophie's second foul, I believe. Team's fourth. So we got, still got one more before shooting free throws. 53.4 seconds left on the game clock. Fresh 35 on the shot clock. Gets it in to Sarah Schmitz. And Schmitz is going to be fouled. That's the fifth foul now. So Schmitz will go to the line to shoot two. Foul is on. 22, Aubrey Warden. That's her second. So Sarah will be at the line to shoot two with 50.2 to go. Ooh, first one off the back of the iron, no good. Second one is good by Schmitz. That gives Sarah 11. We're going to have a timeout. We'll take a timeout as well. You're watching Husky Basketball and Florida Digital Solutions. Elk Point native Dr. Devin Penfield and the team at the dentist at Elk Point believe that your family deserves the highest level of dental care in a friendly and relaxing atmosphere. That's why they're happy to provide the community with a low-stress, comfortable dental home. Patients are loving and having the latest technology in a small-town setting. Dr. Penfield and her team enjoy serving such a wonderful community. Schedule your appointment today by calling 605-356-2271. All right, we are back. Jensen Insurance, Jensen Insurance Agency scoreboard reads 56-49 in favor of the Huskies. 50.2 to go. And it will be Dakota Valley ball from under the Husky basket. Huskies going to bring a couple up here. Schmitz and Courtney Brewer. Now they're going to settle back. Otten will bring it up. Picked up by Schmitz, top of the key. She's the only thought about the three right away. Gets it down low to Somerville. She puts it up and in for two for Somerville. She gets it in to Van Roekel. Van Roekel's going to drive or take it up the far sideline. Yep, Van Roekel's going to be fouled by Somerville. That'll be Somerville's third, third foul, I believe. Oh, fourth foul. So Van Roko will be at the line to shoot two with 30.8. Shot clock is off. 56-51. First one is bounce nice. Bounces around and off the glass and in for Caitlin. Gives Caitlin eight on the night. Second one, nothing but net. Gives her a nine. 58, 51, 25. Everybody's on out, and they think she's going to shoot the three, which she usually does. Meade drives the basket. She's going to be fouled under the basket on the shot by Bentley Colvum, I believe. Yep. That's going to be Bentley's third foul. So Meade will be at the line to shoot two. 22.7 left. First one is strong, no good. Second one by Meade is strong as well. Oh. Oh. 
That's that's an interesting call. Huh. He'll say Panther ball, 20.8 left. So Panthers will inbound, Meade will inbound. Gets it to Tuttle. Tuttle, everybody's looking for Otten. Ball gets away. Van Rokel comes up with it. She's waiting for him to come foul her, and they do. 13.8. Van Rokel go to the line for two. Fouls on. Number 40, Ella Otten. That's her second team's fourth. First free throw is good. Nice shot by Caitlin. Caitlin with 10 on the night now, double figures. Second free throw is good. 11 for Caitlin. 12 seconds. Husky fans are starting to feel it. A few of them standing up cheering for him. Shot by Otten is good, 60 to 53. Yeah, this hole that don't even need to put it pass it in. That's going to be your final, Husky fans. On the Jensen Insurance Agency scoreboard, your EPJ Huskies, 60. Dakota Valley Panthers, 53. That was a heck of an effort by the Pan- uh, by the Huskies after the little bit of a slow start to start the first quarter. We will be back after a few breaks from our sponsors with some post-game stats and a few scores. And then we'll get ready for the boys' game. You're watching Husky Basketball on Fuller Digital Solutions. Are you ready to start a career with an exciting team? Thermobond is looking to add to our team of experts. We offer competitive wages, a positive work environment, and on-the-job training. Thermobond is headquartered in Elk Point, South Dakota, and for over 30 years we've been providing lightweight and precast solutions for multiple industries nationwide. Check us out and see if you'd like to start a new career with us today. air it today. Insurance in Beersford, Elk Point, and Sioux Falls has been building relationships since 1944. We want to take care of what matters most to you, protecting your family, farm, business, or vehicles. We work with carriers or companies like Auto Owners Insurance to find you the best coverages and help cut your insurance costs. Visit our website for a complete list of insurance coverage options. You can trust that Jensen Insurance cares about you, just like we have for over 75 years. Visit us at JensenAgencyOnline.com. Jensen Insurance. Your local, independent, auto owner's insurance agency. All right, we're back, Husky fans. Once again, on your Jensen Insurance Agency scoreboard, EPJ comes out on top, 60-53 to over the Dakota Valley Panthers. 
stats have here for you. Huskies are led in scoring by Bentley Colbaum with the heck of a game. 22 points, four rebounds. Ashley Brewer, 12 points, three rebounds. Sarah Schmitz, 11 points, seven rebounds. Caitlin Van Roekel, 11 points, one rebound. Uh, Grace Pete, two points, two rebounds. Hannah Nerman, two points, one rebound. And Courtney Brewer with two rebounds. So, once again, 60-53 final. See if we can see a few scores from around this area, around the state. Before we take a quick break, let's check it out. Groton area on top of Duel, 35 to 23, or wait, 35 24, start of the fourth quarter. As you know, Groton is who the Huskies play on Saturday at the DAC 12, uh, the DAC 12 and NEC clash in Madison. That game is at 12 30 in Madison. Um, number one, Sisseton up on Clark Willow Lake, 31 to 8. One minute left in the second. Tri-Valley is up on Del Rapids, 21 to 15. Three minutes left in the first. Uh, Wagner over Andy Central, Dakota Christian, 70 to 56. Final, Mount Vernon Plankton over Hanson, 62 to 54. Elkton Lake Benton over DeSmet, 45-23. Mobridge Pollock and Belfouche tied 21 in the second quarter. Platt Gettys over Scotland, 53-25. Great Plains Lutheran over Wilmot, 62-32. St. Thomas Moore up on winner, 33-15, end of the third. Red Cloud, number three, up on Rapid City Christian, 42-24. Garrettson up on McCook Central, 26-12. And just underway, Vermillion is up on number four, Sioux Falls Christian, 7-6 with one minute left in the first quarter. Lennox is up on Baltic, 33-13 in the second quarter. Receiving votes, Aberdeen Roncalli is up on Milbank, 29-21. And that's all the score to have for right now. We will be back after a few minutes. We've got about 10 minutes until starting lineups. So take a break. We'll be back in about 10 minutes. You're watching Husky Basketball on Fuller Digital Solutions.
strong, integrated, customized. Thermobond is headquartered in Elk Point, South Dakota. And for over 30 years, we've been providing lightweight and precast solutions for multiple industries nationwide. All right, welcome back, Husky fans. Getting ready for the boys' action here real quick. Um, Dakota Valley Panthers come in with a record of 10-2 and two on the boys' side. The EPJ Huskies come in with a 5-10 and 10 record. The Panthers got their 62-game winning streak, I think, beat, uh, cut short of the record by a couple games last week by Hamlin, and then they also lost to Sioux Falls Christian. So, getting ready for our starting lineups for tonight. Starting lineups for the Huskies. Number three, six foot senior, Garrett Merkley. 5'10 senior, number 10, Carson Timmons. Number 22, 5'10 senior, Caden Moore. Number three, 30, 6'3 senior, Reed Saylor. Number 33, 6'7", senior, Evan Fournier. Huskies are coached by head coach Jake Aachen, assisted by Zach Ronning. And Dan Trudeau. Number two for the Panthers, Charlie Marges. Number four, 6'2", junior, Luke Bruns. 6'7", senior, number 10, Grant Vandenhall. 24, 5'11", junior, Logan Collette. Number 34, 6'7", ju- senior, Jackson Wingert. Trying to read these in the dark, sorry. Assistant coaches are Brian Ewell, Chris Schmidt. Nathan Skipper, Trey Berg, and Ryan Farrar. Head coach is Jason Kleiss. All right, we got the lights on. We can finally see again what I'm looking at. All right. Huskies are in their road blacks. Panthers in their road home whites. Winger, Fournier to jump. Huskies come up with the ball. Sailor with it. Sailor gets blocked away by Vandenholm. Shot no good. Rebound down to Bruns. Gets it up ahead to Winger. Winger puts it up for two. Three-point attempt by Bruns, no good. Or no, by Collette, excuse me, not Bruns. Number 24. We're going to have a jump ball. Stay with the Panthers. Gets it into Bruns. Bruns gets... Shot up, no good, but he's going to be fouled by Sailor. That's going to be his first. Team's first. So 
at the line to shoot two. First one by Bruns is good. Second one is good as well. 4-0 Panthers. Caden Moore takes it up. Shot good by Merkley. Collette gets it over to Winger. To Bruns. Bruns tries to drive. Dishes it off to Collette. Vandenhall with it. Gets it down low to Winger. Winger drives baseline. Reverse layup, no good. Tipped away. Merkley comes up with the rebound. Merkley pushes it up. 6.28 left. Caden Moore throws up an off-balance shot. Rebound on to Winger. Get it up ahead to Collette. And we have a timeout. Timeout Huskies will take one as well. You're watching Husky Basketball and Polar Digital Solutions. Forget the ramps and hassles when hauling. They are built to tilt. Tilt bed trailers made at Holstein Fabrication and Holstein Manufacturing. We're excited to now offer one of the best tilt bed trailers on the market, ranging from 22 to 28 feet in length. And like everything we manufacture, these trailers are built to work, last, and make your life easier. All with confidence when you hook up to a tilt bed trailer made at Holstein Fabrication and Holstein Manufacturing. Visit us online today at HolsteinMFG.com. All right, we are back. 6-2 early here, 6-14 to go first quarter. Panthers on top. Merkley gets it inside to Sailor, working on Vandenhall. Gets it out to Fournier. Fournier gets it to Merkley, back out to Sailor, top of the key. Sailor's going to drive on Vandenhall. This is down to Fournier for two. 6 4, 550 left. Bruns over to Marges. Down to Wingert. Wingert turns around, puts it up for two. 8 4, 530 left. Forney with the ball. Gets it over to Merkley. Merkley at the long three and drains it. 8-7 Panthers. Bruns with it. Gets it to Marges. Collette inside to Wingert. Winger puts it up and it gets blocked, but it's going to be on the shot. Fouls on the shot by Fournier. That's going to be Evans first. So Winger to go to the line to shoot two. Five so far. And I'm not quite sure what we're talking about here. Oh. The team fouls were changed. They had five on the board. I don't think they had five of them. Uh, yeah, there's only 
Only two team fouls for the Huskies. They had five up there for some reason. So Wehrant makes the second as well. 440 left to go, 10-7. Forney hands it off to Fairbanks, who checked in at the last dead ball. Shot no good by Fairbanks. Marge is with it and then push it up the court. Took it, took it one on three, and it's no good. Rebounded by Fairbanks. He gets it up ahead to, to Merkley, a sh- three-pointer short that time. Collette with the rebound, gets it up to Marges, to Winger. Winger's going to drive, turn around, spin move, and he's going to be called for a travel. So no get on the shot. Going to be a travel on Winger. Checking in for the Huskies for the first time. Number 20, Grayson Gerard replacing Carson Timmons. 4-11 left, first quarter. Timmons will walk it up. Picked up by Colette. Fairbanks with it, guarded by Bruns. To Fornia, inside to, to Sailor. Oh, Sailor. We're now a travel. Gerard runs into Sailor. So go back to the Panthers. Check in for the Panthers for the first time. Number 11, Tyler Cornelison. Number 12, Jordan Grinke. And number 5, Drew Luckin. Merkley gets it to Sailor. Sailor with it. Gets it over to Merkley. Merkley with the top of the key, gets it over to Fornia. Get down low to Sailor. Sailor's going to turn, put it up. Off the rim, no good. Rebound down to Luckin. Gets it up ahead to Bruns. Bruns with it. Puts up the jumper in the lane. Is good by Luke Bruns. Okay. Gerard gets it off to Merkley. Merkley with it. Over to Gerard. Sailor turns around, puts it up, and in for two by Sailor. 12-9, 2.45 left, first quarter. Granke with it. Winger over to Bruns. Bruns is going to drive, put up the jumper. It's good. Picks up Fairbanks at midcourt. Bruns does. Fairbanks gets it over to Sailor. Sailor takes the jumper and switches it. 14-11. Gives Sailor four on the night. Bruns is going to drive, puts it up, no good. Rebound down to Gerard. Grayson's going to push it up, pull it back now. Gets it to Merkley. Merkley's going to drive it in the lane, dish off to Fornia. Nice pass to Fornia for two. 14-13, 150 to go, first quarter. Winger, spin move, tries to put it up baseline. We're going to have a jump ball. Nice job by Sailor to, to block a shot. I believe we're going to have a full timeout by Dakota Valley. We'll take a timeout as well. You're watching Husky Basketball and Florida Digital Solutions. All the best sports shows. Never miss out on the action. Hmm. Okay. All right, we are back. Jensen Insurance Agency scoreboard. 145, 146 left in the first quarter. 14-13. Panthers on top. Still in our timeout here. Huskies with two fouls so far. No, no fouls yet for the Panthers in the first quarter.
Fairbanks gets it in to Cade Moore. Check back in. Also checking in for the first time, 24, Luke Schmitz. Back in for Dakota Valley, or checking in for the first time, Luke Harrison, number 14. Oh, pass intercepted there by Vanenhall. He gets it off to Marges, and he puts it up. No good. It's going to be a blocking foul on Cade Moore. It's going to be his first. Team's third of the first quarter. So Marges will go to the line to shoot two. First one is good by Marges. Checking back in for the Huskies. Number 10, Carson Timmons replacing Evan Fornia. Second free throw is good by Marges. 16 to 13. Gerard gets it inside to Timmons. Shot no good. Rebound down to Vandenhall. Marges tries to get it inside. Throws it away. It's going to go back to the Huskies. Wingert checks back in, replacing Luke Harrison for the Panthers. Caden Moore will bring it up. Picked up at midcourt by Marges. Gerard dishes it out to Fairbanks. No good on the three. Fight for the rebound. Vandenhall gets it, gets it to Marges. Oh, gets it to Vandenhall. We're going to have a hold on the Huskies. Let's see who we called it on here. Fouls on number 20, Grayson Girard. That's going to be his first. Team's fourth. Yeah, fourth foul. Oh, we're going to have an offensive foul on Winger. He threw his elbow there to get Fairbanks out of the way and put the shot up. So that'll be Winger's first foul. Second, is it second team foul for Dakota Valley? Or is that this their first? Might be their first. Stolen away by Marges. He puts it up, no good. But he's fouled on the layup. He's going to go to the line to shoot two. Foul is going to be on 22, Caden Moore. That's going to be Caden's second foul. Team's fifth of the quarter. 46.1 46.1 to go first quarter. Marges at the line to shoot two. First one is good. Merkley checks back in, replacing Caden Moore. Marges' second shot is good. 18 13. Marges with four points. Fairbanks with it. Guarded by Wingert. Got about a 10 second differential. Shot clock, game clock. Gerard with it. Gets it out to Timmons. It gets stolen away by Marges. Marges drives, dishes it to Wingert in the lane. Puts it up. Over two guys. Good. 20 to 13. 20 seconds left. Shot clock's off. Fairbanks drives the lane. Somehow put it up. No good. Rebound down to Dakota Valley. Marges going to go up Puts it up and in for two. 22-13, five seconds left. Vandenhall intercepts it, and they're going to have a jump ball there. It's going to go back to Dakota Valley, 3.1 left on the on the clock. Checking back in, number four, Luke Bruns, replacing Tyler Cornelison, number 11. So Marges will inbound. Luke Bruns gets it, catches it. He's going to shoot it from the volleyball line. Ooh, off the back of the rim, no good. So after one quarter of play, it's Dakota Valley 22, Huskies 13. We'll take a break. You're watching Husky Basketball on Fuller Digital Solutions. Quality care, close to home. That's Horizon Healthcare and Elk Point. For immunizations and well child visits to family health, We're right here for all ages with convenient hours and timely appointments. Local care for you and your family makes life easier with less travel, greater personal attention, and overall wellness for life. That's Horizon Healthcare's Elk Point Community Health Center. After one 
second quarter of play, 22 to 13. In favor of the Panthers. So far, leading scorers for the Huskies, Merkley with five, and Sailor and Fournier with four apiece. That's all the Husky scoring with those three right there. So far, Caden Moore with two fouls, only one of two, a couple more with one. So it will be Husky ball to start the second quarter. Huskies will start with Luke Schmitz, Garrett Merkley, Carson Timmons, Evan Fournia, and Reed Saylor. Merkley will walk it up. Gets it to Fournia at the free throw line. Gets it knocked away, but Merkley comes back up with it. Luke Schmitz in the, in the paint with it. Out to Merkley to Saylor. Saylor gets it into a cutting. Luke Schmitz shot no good. And out of bounds. Logan Clutt loses it out of bounds. Nice effort there by him. Try and save it. It'll go back to the Huskies, though, 22-13. Merkley will inbound. Merkley gets it into Fournier. Mer- Merkley with it. Reed with it into Fournier. He puts it up and in for two, and he's fouled. He's going to go to the line to shoot two. Foul's going to be on, I believe, Vandenhall. Yep, that's going to be Vandenhall's first foul. Team's first of the second quarter for the Panthers. Free throw short by Fournier, no good. Rebound to Vandenhall. 22-15, 7.30 left. Marge with it, gets it over to Clutt. Over to Marge. To Bruns, over to Wingert. Wingert with it, gets it to Clutt. He's going to shoot the three. Off the rim, no good. Rebound on to Luke Schmitz. Merkley with it, gets it up ahead to Sailor. He's going to try the three, off the rim, no good. Rebound to Timmons, he puts it up, no good. Rebound on to Luke Bruns. He's going to take the jumper in the lane, good for Luke Bruns. 24-15, 6.45 left. Merkley with it. It tries to get it down to Sailor, he gets tipped away by Vandenhall. Vanden Hall's going. Oh, gets it tipped away. Oh, he says it's going to be Dakota Valley ball, I believe. Or no, Oak Point Jefferson ball, yeah. So checking in for the first time, number 34, Landon Johnson. Also checking back in, 22, Caden Moore. Replacing Timmons and Luke Schmidt. Moore will bring it up. Gets it to Fornia. Gets it to Sailor at the free throw line. Sailor, uh, Bruns Garden Sailor there. Jumper by Fornia, no good. Marges comes down at the rebound. Nice job keeping his dribble there off balance. Number and a half, a little reach in foul there going down the court on Cade Moore. That's going to be his third foul. He's going to have to come out now. That's the team's first foul of the second quarter. Checking back in, 20, Grayson Gerard replacing Caden Moore. Panthers will inbound. Collette, or Marges with it. Gets it over to Bruns. Bruns to Vandenhall, over to Marges. Thought about the three. Gets it into Winger. Winger spin move, puts it up. Nope, he's gonna be called for a travel. Checking back in for the Panthers, number 11, Tyler Corneliuson, and number five, Drew Luckin. Merkley with it to Sailor, top of the key. Sailor's going to drive, it's cut off. Turns around, puts up a jumper, good by Reed, nice shot. 24-17, 5.35 till half. Bruns with it, over to Corneliuson, over to... Luckin, three-point attempt by Winger off the back of the iron, no good. Rebound to Luckin. 
Bruns shoots it no good. Rebound down to Grayson Gerard. He'll bring it up the court now. Over to Fournier. Fournier with it. Gets to him. Cutting Merkley under the basket. He gets it blocked away by Wingert. Panthers come up with the ball. Colette with it. Gives it to Wingert. And he's going to be blocked by Fournier from behind. He gets him on the head, he says, the ref. So that'll be foul number two. Two on Fournier. Second team foul of the second quarter. Five minutes exactly left till halftime. First free throw by Winger, no good. Check him back in. Number 20, Charlie Marges for the Panthers, replacing 24, Logan Collette. Free throw, no good. Rebound down to Merkley. Landon, this is the Landon Johnson back to Merkley. Gets it to Fournier. Fournier gets down to Landon Johnson. Oh, it gets tipped out of bounds. Pass led him just a little too much. Going to go back to the Panthers. Checking back in for Dakota Valley. Number 14, Luke Harrison replacing Wingert. Marges will walk the ball up the court. Marges with it. Gets it over to Bruns. Bruns is going to drive. Stops. Pops the jumper and hits it. Twenty-six seventeen. Gerard with it up to back to Merkley. Merkley lobs it up over over everybody to Fournier down low for two. Nice pass there. Nice job. Cornelius in over to Harrison. Marges with it. Gets it to Harrison. Bruns with the long three off the front of the rim, no good. Rebound on to Landon Johnson. Out to Gerard. To Fournier. Down to Sailor. Sailor puts it up, off the rim, no good. Rebound down to Luckin. Bruns with it. Marges over to Luckin in the corner. Down to Harrison. Three-pointer from Bruns is good. 29-19. Three ten till half. Fournier with it gets it down to Johnson. Gets it tipped away. It'll stay with the Huskies. Checking back in for the Huskies. Ashton Fairbanks and Luke Schmitz replacing Evan Fournier and Reed Saylor. Also checking back in for Dakota Valley. Uh, Vanden Hall and Wingert. And Grinky, I believe. Shot up. Blocked by... Vandenhall again. Over in the corner. Gets it to Marges. To Cornelius in down to Wingert. He puts it up and in for two. 31-19. 2.45 till half. Fairbanks brings it up. Tries to drive on Wingert. Gets cut off in the lane. Merkley with it. Merkley guarded by Marges there. And this is it to Gerard. Layup no good. Rebound down to Corneliuson. Wingert with it. Spin move. That might have been a little bit of a flop by Fairbanks there. In and out, no good. Rebound down to Gerard. 2 two ten left till half. Gets it over to Merkley. 31-19. Gets it to Johnson. Fairbanks in the corner with it. He's going to shoot the jumper, air ball that rebound to Landon Johnson, gets it out to Merkley for the long three, and he nails it. Nice long three better by Merkley. 31-22, Merkley with eight so far. Marges with it. Gets it into Winger, guarded by Fairbanks. Marges over to Cornelison to back to Winger. Marges. 
to Granke. Winger down low. Spin move, little little hook, no good, rebound. And we're going to have a, yep, he got the rebound once, put it back up, missed it, and he went over the back the next time. So that's going to be Winger's second foul. Team's second as well of the quarter. So 122 left till half. Grayson Gerard checks out. Carson Timmons checks in. Also... Number 14, Luke Harrison for Dakota Valley. Merkley with it, gets it to Landon Johnson. He gets it inside to Fairbanks. Turn around, nice move there by by Fairbanks for two. 31-24, 1.05 to go. Marr just gets it over to Bruns. Bruns guarded by Merkley, gets it to Collette. Marr just with it. He runs for the deep three, and he nails it. 34-24. Landon Johnson down low. Nice job for two. 40 seconds left. Seven-second differential shot clock to game clock. Bruns turn around. Jumper in the lane is good. 36-26. Bruns is heating up. He's got 18 of the 36. He's got 18 and Winger's got 10. They got 26 or 28 of the 36 points. So 28 seconds left. The foul was on. Bruns, that's going to be his first. Merkley gets it into Fairbanks. Tries to get it down low to Schmitz. Landon Johnson comes up the loose ball. Gets it to Merkley for a three. Oh, a little long. Collette gets it and gets it to Bruns. They got 15 on the shot clock or 15 seconds left in the game clock. Down to 10 now. Bruns is going to drive. Merkley knocks it away. Turnaround jumper, no good. Rebound down to Timmons. So at the end of the half, your Jensen Insurance Agency scoreboard, Dakota Valley 36 and EPJ 26. We'll be back after these messages from our sponsors with our halftime stats. And some scores. You're watching Husky Basketball on Florida Digital Solutions. You ready to start a career with an exciting team? Thermobond is looking to add to our team of experts. We offer competitive wages, a positive work environment, and on-the-job training. Thermobond is headquartered in Elk Point, South Dakota. And for over 30 years, we've been providing lightweight and precast solutions for multiple industries nationwide. Check us out and see if you'd like to start a new career with us today. Until it gets, you know, within a few. Insurance in Beersford, Elk Point, and.
All right, we're back. Once again, your score at halftime on the Jensen Insurance Agency scoreboard, 36-26. Panthers on top. Huskies are led in scoring by eight points for Merkley, eight points for Fournay, six for Sailor, two for Fairbanks, two for Johnson. Leading rebounder so far, Grayson Gerard with three. Garrett Merkley with, and Carson Timmons with two. Um, I have my daughter Logan here doing some stats for me, so she's keeping a little better stats than I do. She's got some assists on here too as well. Merkley with three. Evan Forney with three. Grayson Gerard with three. Reed Saylor with two. Foul trouble. Huskies have Caden Moore with three fouls. Evan Forney with two. Um, check a few quick scores before we start the second half. Um, Wagner's up on Andy Central Dakota Christian, 24-17. Grotenary up on Duel, 27-20 at half. Number three, Sioux Valley up on Flandreau, 36-33. Six minutes left in the game. Webster over Redfield, 79-42. Wabay Summit over Florence, 59, Florence Henry, 59-36. Hanson up on Mount Vernon Plankton, 43-25 with a minute left in the third. T area over West Central, 49-47 final. S-Line Hendricks over Coleman Egan, 77-61 final. Beersford over Madison, 73-63 is the final. Western Christian of Iowa up on Lennox, 54-40, seven minutes left in the third. Number four in Class B, DeSmith over Elkton Lake Benton, 65-24. Stanley County over Chamberlain, 65-55. And we are back at the action for second half action. Panthers inbound. Marge is with it, gets it to Bruns. Bruns with it. Gets it down to Winger. Three-pointer by Bruns, no good. Rebound down to Merkley. Gets it to Sailor. Merkley gets it to Forney at the free throw line. Oh, Merkley saves it. Gets tipped by Caden Moore. Marges comes up with it, gets it up to Winger. Winger lays it in for two. 38-26. Ball goes out of bounds. Off off Bruns, I believe. It'll go back to the Huskies. Timmons to inbound, gets it into Moore. Two points there for Fornia. They get up ahead to Winger. Winger turn around jumper is good. Moore brings it up. Gets it to Merkley to Fornia. Down to Sailor. We're gonna have a foul from behind on Vandenhall. That's gonna be Vandenhall's second. Team's first of the second or the third quarter. Merkley gets it in to Timmons. Mm. Oh, Merkley lost a shoe, or, or uh, Timmons lost a shoe. Checking back in. Luke Bruns checks back in for Corneliuson. Sailor gets it in to Merkley. Merkley gets it to Fornham. Gives it to Caden Moore. Shot, jumper no good off the front of the rim. Logan Clett with it. To Bruns. To Marges. Back to Bruns. To Wingert. Bruns is going to drive. Just to back to Wingert. Gets tipped. And Merkley comes up with it. Back to Caden Moore. Gets it back to Merkley. Inside to Fornia. Fornia puts it up and in for two. Forty to thirty. Jumper no good. 
by Collette. Rebound down to Timmons. Gets it up to Merkley. 40 loses it. Vandenhall comes up with it. Winger puts it up. No good. Rebound to Big Bruns, and he puts it up and in. Sailor's going to drive. Gets cut off in the lane. Gets it down to Fournier. Fournier puts, oh, man, that thing barely crawled up over the rim. And we're going to have a foul. I'm not sure what happened. Countered it. Fouls on Winger. That was a really late whistle. I don't know what happened there. Fouls on Winger. That's going to be Winger's third foul. Team second in the third quarter. Checking back in for the Panthers, number 11, Tyler Cornelison, and number five, Drew Luckin. Free throw by Fournier is good. Fournier with 15 tonight so far. Marges with a deep three, and he switches it. 45-33, 5.20 left. Caden Moore gets it off to Sailor. He gets it to a cutting Timmons for the layup. Nice pass. Bruns with it. Bruns is going to drive. Puts up the jumper in the lane off the back. The iron good. Re- rebound down to Caden Moore. Gets it to Sailor. Three-pointer by Merkley. He hits it. 45-38. 4.50 left. Gets it up ahead to Wingert. Right. Oh, Wingert gets blocked by Fornia. And then he gets his own rebound, and then he's going to be fouled on the, on the second shot. That's going to be Fournier's third foul. Team's first of the third quarter. So Winger will be at the line to shoot two. First one's good. Winger with four, 15 so far. He and Fournier both with 15. Second one by Wingard is good. Sailor gets it into Moore. Moore picked up by Cornelison. Merkley with it, guarded by Mitt Marges. Gets it back to Timmons. Gets it over to Sailor. Gets it down low to Fornia. Fornia, nice job, nice move. 47-40. Four fifteen to go, third quarter. Pass down to Winger. Gets it out to Marges. He's going to shoot the three, and he puts it in. Fifty to forty, Panthers on top. Merkley with it, guarded by Marges. To Fournier. Fournier's going to shoot the three short off the front of the rim. Rebound down to Luke Bruns. He gets it up ahead to Cornelison and over to Marges. In the corner to Luck to Luckin, and Luckin hits it. And we're gonna have a timeout. Huskies will take one as well. You're watching Husky basketball on Fuller Digital Solutions. All the best sports. All right, we're back. Jensen Insurance Agency scoreboard reads 53-40 in favor of the Panthers with 3.43 to go. Third quarter. Just got word that the USD women won 69-53 over UND Fighting Hawks. I believe the Fighting Hawk men beat the USD men, though. I'll check on that next dead ball or next time out. Huskies get it in. Merkley gets it to Fairbanks. Fairbanks. 
Gets it over to Saylor. Inside to Fournier. Fournier puts it up. No good. Gets his own rebound. Nice Jeff fight to get the rebound. Fairbanks with it. Fairbanks is going to put it up for two. 53-42. 3.20 left. Three-pointer short by Marges. Oh, rebound down to Corn. Oh, and then he makes it. Rebound came down to Tyler Cornelison. Puts it up. Gets fouled by Merkley. Merkley is already in the air. Nothing he can do about it. Makes the shot. Goes to the line to try and complete the three-point play. Checking in for the Huskies. Number 34, Landon Johnson replacing Evan Fournia. That's Merkley's first foul. So Cornelison will be at the line to try to complete the three-point play here. Puts it up and in. 56-42 Panthers. Fairbanks pushes it up the court here a little bit. Gets it down to Lana Johnson. He puts it up and in for two. Nice job there. 56-44. Marges with it. Fair, or Colette guarded by Fairbanks. Over to Marges in the corner. Gets it back down to Colette. Colette with it. Marges down to Van and all in the corner. Inside to Colette. He puts up the jump real good. Rebound down to Merkley. Gerard, Gerard in the game now. I don't think I mentioned that. He's checked in as well. Foul's going to be on. Number 10, Grant Vandenhall of the Panthers. That's his third team's third of the third quarter. Checking back in for Dakota Valley. Luke Bruns and Jackson Wingert. Merkley to inbound. Gets it in to Gerard over to Timmons. Back to Merkley. Merkley's going to drive. He's going to put it up for two. Nice drive there by Merkley. 56-46, 2 left third quarter. Bruns with it. Gets it over to Colette. Colette's going to shoot. Nails the three. 59-46, two minutes. Nice pass up ahead to Fairbanks down low. Gets blocked by gets blocked by Vandenhall twice in a row there. I'm going to have Collette go in for the two. 61-46. Merkley's going to jog it up, picked up by Collette. Fairbanks with it. Gets it to Gerardo. He threw it at his feet as to wasn't a very good pass. Bruns driving, puts it up, no good. Oh, nice, nice follow by by Winger to tip it back in for two. Heck of a play by Winger there. Merkley with it, picked up by Colette. We're in a, oh, thought we were gonna have a timeout, but it was it's a bench warning on the Huskies. Checking back in, Evan Fournia and Reed Saylor replacing Landon Johnson and Ashton Fairbanks. 116 left in the third, 63-46. Fournia with it in the corner, guarded by Winger. Gets it down to Reed Saylor who's cutting. Nope. Ball goes through his hands, but he's going to be fouled from behind on that. I believe it's on Vandenhall, I believe. Yep, fouls on Vandenhall. That's going to be his fourth. Team's fourth of the Third quarter. So Vandenhall's going to have to come out with four. Checking back in for Dakota Valley. Drew Luckin to replace Vandenhall. Merkley will inbound it. Gets it into Saylor. Back to Merkley. Down to Saylor. Gets to Forney at the elbow. He puts it up. Bounces around. No good. Gets his own rebound. Puts it back up. No good. But he's fouled by Wingard, I believe. Nope, he wasn't fouled by Drew Luck at number five. Excuse me, they were both right by him. They called it on him. First free throw for Forney is good. Gives him, let's see. Not sure how many he's got. 
Nails the second one, 63-48, one minute to go in the third. 19 has been formed by Logan. He's got 19 but for Fournier so far. Colette with it, shoots the free throw line, jumper is good. 65-48. Sailor with it, picked up by Luckin. Hands it off to Merkley, he hands it off to Timmons. Gets to Fournier, he loses it, gets it back. It's a two, Gerard. Gerard's going to drive the lane off the back of the iron. No good. Rebound down to Luckin. Gives it off to Bruns. Shot clock is off. Down to 22 seconds remaining in the third quarter. Bruns gets it to Winger. 10 seconds. Bruns with it. Driving the baseline. Ooh. Gets it to Colette. He puts up the jumper and swishes it. 2-1. That's going to do it for the third quarter. After three quarters on your Jensen Insurance Agency scoreboard, it's 67-48 in favor of the Dakota Valley Panthers. You're watching Fuller Digital Solutions. Quality care, close to home. That's Horizon Healthcare and Elk Point. For immunizations and well child visits to family health, we're right here for all ages with convenient hours and timely appointments. Local care for you and your family makes life easier with less travel, greater personal attention, and overall wellness for life. That's Horizon Healthcare's Elk Point Community Health Center. All right, we are back. Scoreboard reads 67-48 in favor of the Panthers. Let's see if we can find that USD men's score while we're waiting that I was talking to you about. Uh, yep, North Dakota Fighting Hawks over the USD men 95-81. USD women over the Fighting Hawks, 69-53. So entering the fourth quarter, 67-48. It's going to be it's going to be Husky basketball. Husky's going to start out with Caden Moore, Reed Sailor. Carson Timmons, Evan Fornia, and Luke Schmitz checks back in. Caden Moore with it there, guarded by Marges, gets it to Sailor. Down to Fornia. Fornia puts it up, no good, rebound down to Bruns. Collette, winger down to Marges, to Collette. Bruns with it, guarded by Moore. Over to Vanderhall, he's going to try the three. Oh, no, we're good. Rebound down to Timmons. Timmons gets it up to Sailor, to Forney at the elbow. Forney's going to try a drive on Winger. Gets, gets blocked, shut down. He hands it off to Timmons. Not shot, no good. Rebound by Luke Schmitz and put back for two. Oh, ball gets tipped, and Caden Moore comes up with it. He's going to drive, gets cut off, and, oh, we're going to have a block call down low. Block's going to be called on number two, Charlie Marges. That's going to be his first team's first of the fourth quarter. 7.07 remains. Sailor gets it in. Down to Luke Schmitz. He gets it knocked away. Collette comes up with the rebound, gets it up ahead to Bruns. Bruns is going to drive. Puts up the jumper, no good. Rebound down to Sailor. Vandenhall gets it, steals it, or passes it to where it gets knocked away. It'll stay with the Panthers. Marges will inbound it for the Panthers. Checking back in, Ashton Fairbanks, and... Garrett Merkley, I believe, replacing Timmons and Sailor. Pass in down low to Winger. He puts it up and in for two. 69 to 50. 635 left in the third, fourth quarter. Merkley with it. Dishes it down to, to Fournier. 
And he's going to get fouled on the shot, on the drive. Forney is fouled by number 10, Grant Vandenhall. That's his fifth foul. So he'll be out. That's the team's second of the fourth quarter. Checking back in for Dakota Valley to replace Vandenhall's Drew Luckin, number five. Forney will be at the line to shoot two. First one is good. Gives Forney a 20 on the night so far. Second free throw is good too. 21 for Fournier. 69-52. Gets it into Marcus. Marcus with the ball. Gets it over to Colette. To Winger. Marcus with the three and he hits it again. Marcus having a good night. 15 for him on the night so far. 72-52. 6-10 left. Fairbanks drives, gets cut off by Winger, dishes it off to Fournia for two at the lay-in. We're going to have a timeout Huskies. We'll take a timeout as well. You're watching Husky Basketball on Fuller Digital Solutions. Elk Point native Dr. Devin Penfield and the team at the dentist at Elk Point believe that your family deserves the highest level of dental care in a friendly and relaxing atmosphere. That's why they're happy to provide the community with a low-stress, comfortable dental home. Patients are loving and having the latest technology in a small-town setting. Dr. Penfield and her team enjoy serving such a wonderful community. Schedule your appointment today by calling 605-356-2271. All right, we're back. 72-54, 605 left in the game. It will be Panther basketball. Colette to check it in. Huskies are going to apply full court pressure here now. Gets it into Marges. Guarded by Merkley. Gets it over to Bruns. Bruns gets it to Wingert. Over to Marges. Over to Wingert. Bruns. Runs with it. Oh, gets it back to Colette. Colette's going to shoot, shoot the three. In and out, no good. Oh, it's going to go out of bounds. It'll go to the Huskies. Gerard comes back in, replacing Luke Schmitz. Merkley with it, gets it to Fairbanks. Fairbanks gets it to the free throw line, gets cut off, hands it off to Caden Moore. He's going to drive, put it in for two. Marge is with it. Over to Bruns. We're going to have a foul on Caden Moore. That's going to be his fourth, I believe. Yep, fourth foul on Caden. It's the first team foul of the fourth quarter for the Huskies. 5-1 left. Gets it into Wingert. Bruns with it. Bruns is going to drive. Gets blocked by Fairbanks. Wingert comes up with the rebound. Over to Luckin to Mar Marges. Wingert gets it back to Collette. Over to Luckin to Bruns. Over to Marges. Bruns is going to drive the lane. Puts it in for two. 4.25 left. Fairbanks with it. Fairbanks is going to drive. Puts it up. Oh, rolls out. No good. Offensive rebound. A put back by Fornia. And he's fouled by Drew Luckin, number five. He's going to go to the line, try to complete the three-point play. He gives Evan 25 tonight. Let's 
And it's good. 26 tonight for Fournier so far. 4.16 left, 74.59. Hussey's going to apply pressure now. Gets it back to Marges. Up ahead to Luckin, to Colette. Marges with it. Marges is going to drive all the way. Puts it up, no good. Rebound down to Fairbanks. Fairbanks is going to push it up. He's going to take it all the way past Winger and up for two. Nice drive by the Fairbanks there. Fairbanks with six. Gets it up ahead to Colette. Luckin back to Colette. He's going to shoot the three. He nails it. 77 61. Gerard gets it into Caden Moore. Moore guarded by Marges there. Shot no good. Rebound down to Winger. Back to Marges. Marges started by Gerard there. Gets it up to Bruns. He's going to take the baseline jumper. No good. Rebound down to Fairbanks. Hands it down low to Fournia for two. We're going to have a timeout. Huskies we will take a timeout as well. You're watching Husky Basketball and Florida Digital Solutions. you ready to start a career with an exciting team? Thermobond is looking to add to our team of experts. We offer competitive wages, a positive work environment, and on-the-job training. Thermobond is headquartered in Elk Point, South Dakota, and for over 30 years we've been providing lightweight and precast solutions for multiple industries nationwide. Check us out and see if you'd like to start a new career with us today. Jensen Insurance Agency scoreboard, 77-63, Panthers on top, 3.04 to go. Coming out of the timeout, we're going to have Merkley, Fornia, Fairbanks, Gerard, and Moore. And it will be Dakota Valley Basketball. Colette will inbound. Gets it up ahead to Cornelison that just checked in. Marges over to Colette. Winger's going to drive the lane. Puts it up. Off the rim. No good, but he's fouled. to the line to shoot two. Foul's going to be on Forney. That's going to be his fourth. Yep, fourth foul on Forney. That's going to be Second team foul for the Huskies in the fourth quarter. Free throw by Winger. Bounces around and in. Winger with 21. Second free throw. Bounces around and in as well. 22 for Winger. 79-63. Gets it up the head to Fairbanks in the corner. He gets it down to Merkley. Merkley gets it tipped away. Cornelison gets it over to Colette to Bruns. Bruns is going to drive the lane, puts it up and in for two. Bruns with 27. Ball's going to go out of bounds. It's going to go back to the Panthers. 229 to get play, Gets it back to Marges. Cornelison over to Colette. Marges to Cornelison over to Bruns. Br- uh, Winger going to take the three and he nails it. Merkley down to Fournier. Fournier's going to lay it up and in for two. So Winger with 25. Fournier with 30 on the night now. Panthers are going to clear their bench, put their subs in. Checking in for the Panthers. Number one, Dylan Licken. Number 12, 
Jordan Granke, number five. Drew Licken, number 14. Luke Harrison, and number 22, Grady Ramos. Checking in for the Huskies. Checking back in, number 34, Landon Johnson. Number 24, Luke Schmitz. Also checking in, number 12 for the first time is Nick Schmitz and number 40, Jay Shotswell, and number, who's the other one up there? Number two, Wyatt Herity. Oh, Luca Nima just shot that one. It's Nick Schmitz with the rebound. He's going to bring it down. Gets it over to Luke Schmitz. Gets it tipped away. Luke Luckin comes up with it. Gets it to three point attempt is good by Jordan Granke. 87 65, 115 to go. Luke Schmitz with it. Hands it off to Landon Johnson. He's going to put it up and in. Nope, no good. He's fouled by number 12, Jordan Granke. So Landon will go to the line to shoot two with 105 left in the game. First free throw by Landon is off the back of them, no good. Checking in for the Panthers, number 22, Grady Ramos, number 32, Seth Reinhardt. For number 12, Jordan Granke, and number five, Drew Luckin. Second free throw by Johnson is good. Panthers get it up ahead to Drew Luckin. He drives baseline, puts it up no good. Rebound down to Nick Schmitz. Schmitz will take it up across the timeline. Oh, get, ball gets tipped, comes up. Luke Harrison comes up with it. Throws it out of bounds. I believe it was, nope, wasn't tipped. It's going to go back to the Huskies. Husky ball. Wyatt Herity to inbound. Wyatt Herity will bring it up. Gets it over to Luke Schmidt. He made the second one. Nice pass down low to Shotswell for two. Jay Schatz, well, this first two of the game. 87 68, 20 seconds left. Shot clock is off. Ramos dribbling it up front, guarded by Luke Schmidt. Looks like the Panthers are going to be content. Dribble it out, maybe, maybe not. And that's going to do it. Jensen Insurance Agency scoreboard reads Dakota Valley 87, Elk Point Jefferson 68. We'll be back after a few breaks with the stats, and we'll be back after this. You're watching Husky Basketball and Floor Digital Solutions. today. Every day.
Their team of experienced chiropractors doesn't just address symptoms, but seeks and finds the root cause. Call and book an appointment today and discover why Heartland Chiropractic Associates has been voted two times the best chiropractic clinic in Siouxland. All right, we're back. Dakota Valley over the Elk Point Jefferson Huskies, 87-68 in the boys' contest. Huskies were led in scoring by Evan Forney at the big night, 30 points, 4 rebounds. Uh, Garrett Merkley, 11 points, 4 rebounds. Uh, Reed Saylor, 6 points, 1 rebound. Ashton Fairbanks, 6 points, 3 rebounds. Lana Johnson, 5 points, rebound. Uh, Jay Shotswell, two points. Luke Schmitz, two points, two rebounds. Grayson Gerard with three rebounds. Caden Moore, two points, one rebound. And Carson Timmons with two points and four rebounds. So the Huskies fall to a record of five and 11. Dakota Valley improves to their record to 11 and two. And on the girl side, the first game of the night, the Huskies come out on top, 60 to 53. Elk Point Jefferson improves their record to 13 and 2, and Dakota Valley falls to 10 and 5 on the season. Next game will be Saturday in Madison. The girls will be at the DAC 12 NEC Clash against Groton area. Groton area, I believe, is 10 and 4. They play at 12:30. And Caroline will be on the call with that one. I'll be out of town again, so Caroline will be on the call with that one. So for Caroline Raymond and myself and for Logan doing the stats, the boys game, you're watching Fuller Digital Solutions and Husky Basketball, and I hope you guys have a good night and hope you tune in Saturday if you're not at the game. Thanks for watching. <laughs>